Welcome back to the channel guys. Today's adventure takes us ice fishing again. It is blistering cold, extreme cold warning, uh, minus 28 with a wind chill of probably minus 38. Uh, too cold for me to work because I work outside. So let's go fishing. We are on our way to Lake McGregor. I've never tried that lake before, I've never fished it, so it'll be my first time. See how it goes. Uh, I just gotta make one quick stop somewhere to get some propane for the heater so we stay warm. And yeah, see you guys on the ice. Alright guys, we made it. We're here at the boat launch. Um, I'm gonna drive on the ice because I know it's safe. It's been sub-zero temperatures for a couple weeks now, so I don't see any problem in that. Uh, when I'm driving on the ice, I always take my seatbelt off and open a window, just in case, you never know. It's just a habit. Uh, I'll see you guys when I'm all set up. go get inside. Okay, so here we are. We're all set up. I didn't get to go exactly where I wanted to because there's a huge pressure crack in the lake and I didn't feel like crossing it. Um, so I chose a spot here I mean, that's the thing about when it's really cold and you drill your holes, you don't really want to hop around. I mean, I drilled my holes, got set up, and then I realized that it's only about, I don't know, maybe six to eight feet deep. So, oh well, we're stuck here. We're going to try it. Like I said, I've never fished this lake before, so I looked at the depth chart online and where I wanted to go, I should have been in about 15 feet of water. Um, I thought that I was out far enough here, but uh, I guess not. So I'm here now, so this is where I'm staying.
Unfortunately, I had no luck at McGregor that day. Definitely, I will be back to this lake to try a new spot because I did see lots of action on the camera. Now, let's go back to Eagle Lake. Today, we're gonna go back to Eagle Lake and we're gonna get ourselves a walleye. I'm determined. And uh, yeah, I just gotta make a quick stop. Cabela's, get some new blades for my auger. Tried sharpening them uh, a couple times. Doesn't really seem to make a difference. It's probably just due for some new blades, that's all. The other reason I chose Eagle Lake today is because it's close. I could drive on the ice. It's just easy. I mean, I did Crawling Valley last week. That's about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 from my door. So you lose a lot of time fishing when you're driving. And then, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, I did McGregor Lake. And that was about the same. It's about an hour and 45 minutes drive. So, I mean, when you look at it like that, you lose, I'm losing three and a half hours to driving right there. So, Eagle Lake is only 40 minutes. It's, it's half the time and I can drive right out and then on the ice, so. Anyways, let's get out there and hopefully we will slay some walleye. Okay guys, we made it. We're at the boat launch. We're gonna drive on the ice here. Let's uh, go see if we can find our spot. Besides this one walleye I seen on the camera right here, it's kind of hard to see, I was skunked again on Eagle Lake. Honestly, I have caught lots of pike and quite a few walleye out of Eagle in the years past. Well, sorry I didn't catch anything in this video, but sometimes that's how she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she don't. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching and don't forget, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we got plenty more adventures to come.